Greetings and welcome to IC Real Time's Tech Talk. My name is Franz and in this video we're going over IC Real Time's integration capabilities with many home automation systems. First off, some of you may be asking what is home automation or integration? Simply put, home automation and control is the use of technology to automate and remotely control various aspects of the home. This involves the integration of smart devices and systems that can be monitored and controlled through a centralized interface, often accessible via a mobile app or a dedicated control panel. For example, being able to control your home thermostat for temperature change or open and close motorized blinds at a certain time. So how does IC Realtime integrate with home automation systems? The answer to that are what we refer to as drivers. Each integration company will often have their own drivers that are used to communicate between our IC Realtime devices and the integration platform. So what kind of capabilities can you expect when integrating with IC Realtime devices? Generally, IC Realtime supports live streaming, event handling, as well as control and playback from the local interface of a recorder. Live streaming means sending a live video stream from an IP camera over the network to the integration platform so that it can be viewed from touch panels and integration apps, for example. Local interface control is the ability to change between channels and split views in the monitor output of a recorder. Furthermore, you can access a special playback menu with a local playback control. With this, you can search different channels and view playback events controlled by a touch panel or using a home automation app. Finally, there is event handling. These new drivers allow the home automation system to listen in on camera or recorder events, such as motion detect event or tripwire face detect. The home automation can then be programmed to make use of these events, such as turning on a light or unlocking a door. Now let's take a look at various home automation platforms and how IC Realtime integrates with them. Regarding Control 4, most IC Realtime IP cameras and NVRs are supported. With the drivers, the SCTP certified drivers are available for select models and directly from Control 4. Uh, any models that are not SCTP certified that are also supported um, can be directly downloaded from our ICR website uh, in the download section. As far as the capabilities with Control 4, it offers live streaming, local interface control, local interface playback, and event handling. With Savant, most IP cameras and NVRs again are supported, and uh, the supported devices can also be purchased directly from the Savant web store. Uh, we do have certified dri drivers for Savant, and they are uh, available directly uh, in their platform. As far as their capabilities, they offer live streaming, local interface control, and local interface playback. With Elan or NICE, uh, again, most IP cameras and NVRs uh, from IC Realtime are supported. Uh, we do have new drivers now for event handling, local interface, and playback. Uh, those drivers are available to download at our website. Uh, as far as Elan streaming, uh, that's actually handled by their uh, OnVIF driver, and we do have instructions on our help center. As far as their capabilities, they offer live streaming, local interface control, local interface playback, and event handling. And exclusively with Elan and NICE is their integrated NVR recording. Uh, with the appropriate NVR license, you can actually uh, record directly into the uh, Elan platform and be able to view the playback directly from the touch panels or the apps. Uh, we offer now uh, event playback with their built-in NVRs, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Regarding Crestron, again, most IP cameras and NVRs are supported. As far as the drivers, uh, which are referred to as modules by Crestron, uh, they are available on our website. As far as the capabilities, they offer live streaming, local interface control, and local interface playback with the new module that is pending. With Crestron Home, it's a little bit different since they uh, deal with OnVIF, but as far as hardware support, most of our IP cameras will work. Uh, again, with the drivers, they use OnVIF streaming for control of IP cameras, so um, their only capability so far is pretty much live stream. As far as RTI, most of the IC real-time IP cameras and NVRs are supported. Uh, the drivers are available with an RTI, and they use this uh, IP camera and NVR commands directly into their platform. For the capabilities, they support live streaming, local interface control, and local interface playback. Lastly, regarding Josh AI, most of the hardware support is uh, IP cameras. Uh, there is no official drivers. Uh, they utilize streaming directly to their platform. So as such, with their capabilities, they offer live streaming. So next, we'll go over some of the best practices and the hardware information. So why stream directly from an IP camera? 
When streaming over the network, we recommend streaming directly from the IP camera. The first reason is reduced latency. Streaming directly from the IP camera can reduce latency or lag in a system. When the integration system communicates directly with the camera, there's less processing delay compared to going through an additional recorder. This is going to be crucial in applications where real-time or near real-time monitoring is essential, such as in security systems. The second reason is bandwidth efficiency. Streaming directly from IP cameras allows for more efficient use of bandwidth. By accessing the video feed directly, the integration system can choose specific streams it needs for its purposes, avoiding the need to transmit unnecessary data to and from the recorder. So what does this mean? It means that cameras plugged into an NVR's built-in PoE and coax systems are not recommended when streaming over the network. Cameras plugged into an NVR's built-in PoE are isolated from the network, meaning the integration platform cannot access those cameras with their IP address from the local network. This will force technicians to stream directly from the NVR, which is not recommended due to limited resources. We recommend selling or upgrading to an elite line NVR if they use an automation system or an integration platform. If using an NVR with built-in PoE, the streaming camera should be on a switch on the local network. Moving forward with the hardware recommendations, again, the DVRs and HDVRs and coax are just not recommended for integration. Unlike IP cameras, which can encode a video stream of their own, coax cameras require a recorder to produce a video stream. So in short, live streaming from recorders is not recommended due to the resource and bandwidth limitations, which can affect its basic functions, such as recording or event handling. The last thing to talk about are the specialty cameras. These typically include fisheye cameras and RIC home line. While fisheye cameras are not officially supported, you are able to stream over the network, but it will not be de-warped. Regarding our IC home devices, they can be streamed over the network, but events such as doorbell push from the Dinger Pro, for example, are not supported. Also, the wireless nature of IC home devices can be susceptible to latency when streaming. Lastly, the devices from our Edge lineup are not rated for integration. In conclusion, my aim is that the insights shared in this presentation empower users to make well-informed decisions when selecting IC real-time products for their home automation needs. By understanding the capabilities and integration options, users can set the realistic expectations and seamlessly incorporate our products into their broader home automation systems. I hope this knowledge enhances the overall experience, offering a reliable and cohesive solution for their smart home endeavors.